Sit back. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode of Baking with Babies. And what are we going to make today? Blue. Blueberry buckle. It is July. It's blueberry season, and it is the Fourth of July. So can we say happy, happy? Day. Happy Independence Day. So we thought today we would make one of our favorite recipes. This is called Blueberry Buckle. It's kind of like a blueberry coffee cake. Um, and it's a recipe. Whoa, where are you going, dude? Going Seeking freedom already. Going to pull the steps out. Going to pull the steps out. Okay. So we thought this is one of our favorite recipes that I learned as a child. I don't know if anybody has been to Old Sturbridge Village up in um, Sturbridge, Massachusetts, but it's one of my favorite places in all the world to go to. And this was um, this particular recipe was made by and taught to us by a really good friend of ours who um, we met there and then worked uh, with later. All right. All right. So this recipe is from Jeannie and Michael. So we're going to make their recipe for blueberry buckle. buckle. Okay. So. It's a fairly simple recipe. You want to um, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit to start with. And you're going to need a couple of bowls, butter, flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, uh, blueberries, of course, an egg, and some cinnamon, if you like cinnamon. So we'll start with... Nutmeg. Not nutmeg this time. Nutmeg, nutmeg this time. So we'll start with sugar. Can you help me measure out one cup oh, of sugar? Oh, you need it. What's that? I'm going to eat uh, No, I don't think so. All right, so we've got a half cup here just because it's easier for us to, to measure. Uh, uh, just a mandatory taste test. Is it all right? Yeah. Okay. Can you help me pour it in? So that's, uh, that's one half cup, and then we'll put the next half cup to make a full cup. Here we go. Ready? Thank you very much. We'll close the sugar up. Put that aside for a next step. And then you need a quarter cup of butter. So it's a half of a stick of butter softened. So we'll put that in here and then we'll set the rest aside because we'll be using that later. Can you help me mix this up? Push it down like that. Dude, enough taste testing. Can you help me mix? Help me mix. Help me mix. Spoons. Okay. Yep, here you go your side there you go so you're gonna mix that up and you're gonna cream the butter and the sugar together and once it's creamed the softer it, the butter it is the better with this particular recipe That's enough. what's the next step do we need an an egg yes can you help me crack the egg where's the egg there we go okay so you're gonna cream your butter together Time out, dude. Enough. You're going to cream your butter and sugar together. Mama will finish that. Okay. Are you ready for the egg? You ready for the egg? Can you help me crack it? Ready? Are you ready, Liam? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? Nice. You want to help me crack it? Here we go. Both hands. Both hands. There we go. And make sure you don't have any shells in the process. All right. No more taste testing. Can't taste test once the egg's in there, dude. All right. Can you help me mix? Or until it's baked. Exactly. Can you help me mix? All right. What did we go to see today? Out in the field. The fire. Fire. Fireworks. What sound did they make? Boom. Boom in the air. Boom in the air. Yep. Can you mix with this one? Nope. No fingers in it. I hot pepper. All right. So you're going to mix all of that together. And then you're going to stir in a half a cup. We'll use the salt in a second. We're going to stir in a half a cup of milk. Help me pour that in. Very nice. And slowly stir that in. So these are your wet ingredients. Slow, 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 not too fast, not too fast. 
These are your wet ingredients, and then you're going to set this aside, and you're going to mix your dry ingredients. Dry ingredients. Okay, so we'll set this aside, and we need two cups of flour. Can you help me mix two cups of flour? So here's one. Ready, one. Very nice. And. Oh, thank you. Keep it in the bowl. Keep it in the bowl. One and two. Nice job. And we'll close it up. Exactly. And then we need two teaspoons of baking powder. Do you like that, me? Measure it in. Two teaspoons. Very good. One and two. two. Very nice. And then we need a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, we'll shake it into your hand. There you go. Oh, the salt isn't coming out as easily today. All right, do you want to brush that in? Brush your hand off. Okay. Very nice. And we're going to mix that together. You can just mix that together with your hands very gently. And then we're going to mix that in with our wet ingredients. Where are our wet ingredients? What did we just mix up? Okay. So I'm going to make sure this is stirred up nicely. And then we're going to pour our dry ingredients in. You ready to mix? Okay, grab your spoon. Grab your spoon. We're going to pour the dry ingredients in. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No grabbing, no grabbing. Let's scoot you for it. Okay, let's scoot you for it. Can you help me mix? Because we have to mix this up before we put the blueberries in. Are you going to help me put the blueberries in in a moment? Come on up, up. Yep. We lost our mixer. Okay, we needed the proper attire. Are we all set, Mr. Revolutionary? Okay, taste testing one or two of those, Mr. Moo. So you mix all of the ingredients together. It's gonna be a relatively stiff wet dough. So if it seems a little extra stiff, don't worry. We need blueberry. We do. Can you bring the bowl over? Can you bring the bowl over? Uh oh. Oh, get your hat. All set. All right, come on up. We're gonna add the blueberries. Okay. All right. So you're gonna add your blueberries. You want about uh, two cups of blueberries washed. Okay, can you help me add them in? And depending on how much you like blueberries, you might want to add more. Or depending on if you have somebody who's super into taste testing, you may want to have a few extras on the side. And you mix them in gently. You don't want to press too hard unless, unless you want purple batter. Purple cake. Huh? Yeah. But not in it anymore. It's not in it anymore because we mix them all in. Oh, uh, mm. Alrighty, here we go. We, need butter. we will for our next step in just a second. Before we do that, we're going to Before we do that, we're going to put these into our pans. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so we are making two separate pans for this particular one. One for our big blueberry buckle and then another small one for Fanon because he doesn't like cinnamon and our crumb topping has some cinnamon in it. So we're going to do two separate ones, all right. So you want to have a glass pan 
a nine by nine square pan um, and you want to grease it. So we'll put a little bit into this one right here. Alrighty, so I would like some... turtle. I would like turtle dollar. You would like sugar? I don't think so. Dad would like turtle. Yes. Is sugar nice? Yeah. What kind of sugar is especially nice? Brown sugar. And that sugar. And that sugar. Can you help me spoon this in? Spoon it in. Spoon it in. Yep, here we go. Yeah, nice job. All right, so you're going to spoon your dough or your batter gently into the pan. And again, it's going to seem like a fairly stiff batter. Uh-uh, head back. Yeah, that one's for data. And we won't put cinnamon in the topping for that because we have to make our topping next. You're going to help with the butter and the sugar for that? Okay, so once you've spread your batter and you want to tr try and distribute the blueberries as evenly as you can. Obviously, if you've got little guys or big guys, or big guys, <laughs> or big guys um, just depends on how cooperative they are on a, that given day. All right, once you have it spread out, let's spread this one out um, too, you're going to set both, set those aside or set um, your one pan aside and we're going to make a crumb topping for it which is pretty simple so we're going to take the rest of our butter and spoon it in and I'm just going to use my fingers for most of this all right you're going to take a quarter stick um, sorry half stick or a quarter cup of butter and I can have a what's up the board power we are going to have some flour. A third, a cup of flour. We'll pour that in. And let's see, a half a cup of sugar. And we're going to mix all of that up and then we'll put some crumb topping on Dada's and then we'll add some cinnamon to ours. Okay, so we'll mix all of that up. Not cinnamon. Not cinnamon? No. Why? That's your favorite. No, they do not make. Just nutmeg? Well, I guess I guess it's up to you, folks. You can use cinnamon or nutmeg, according to Liam here. <laughs> I know. Were you trying to put parsley in our strawberry jam the other day? Yeah. Are you going to become an avant-garde baker, avant-garde chef? You. Yeah. Daddy's trying to do, I know, Daddy's trying to pot the meat. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that Dada would like the parsley a whole lot. I have to, have to be honest. Dada's my pot the meat. <laughs> my whole time, my pot the meat. Well, my dad likes my Okay, so once you have the um, crumbled topping to be about this consistency, it'll be um, fairly sticky. You're going to just kind of break it up over top of your dough until it covers kind of all of uh, the batter itself. I love blueberries. All the blueberries. Okay, so we'll set that one aside and we will add some cinnamon. Oh, mom's hands are very messy. Let me take a smell. Mm. Mmm, all right, and we'll sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon. The recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon if you're doing the full crumble, so we'll add a little cinnamon. bit less than a quarter teaspoon. Like. We like cinnamon, don't we? Cinnamon Dad and not, nutmeg. Dad like part of me. Does he? Alrighty, so we'll take this for the rest of our batter and we'll sprinkle it on. Okay. 
And you can kind of make it as thick as you want it. If it doesn't seem like quite enough, then you can, um, you can just make extra. You can just double this part of the recipe. What's that shape? <laughs> All right, so we have finished putting our crumb topping on. What do we need to do? Put it into the? Into the? Liam oven. Into Liam's oven? Oh my, are you making blueberry buckle in your oven as well? Lots and lots of blueberry buckle today. More butter. Oh, we don't need any more butter. We used it all. Okay, so we are going to put the blueberry buckle in. The big one. And the, the little one. Okay, so 45 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And just uh, take a cake tester and make sure it's all finished. And then take it out and serve it warm. And it is amazing. Can you say happy baking, everybody? We'll check it when it's out. Say happy baking, everybody. Happy baking, everybody. <laughs> happy baking, everybody. Grab an next episode. See you at the next episode. Guide to edit. Hello, everybody. Look, they're right there. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. So, it got too late last night to taste our blueberry buckle, so we're going to taste our blueberry buckle now, aren't we? By our blueberry bush that's been giving us some blueberries over there. Oh, there's one. Look, 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 we missed one, Liam. See it down there? Do you wanna go get it? Yeah. All the way down the bottom. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so let's taste our blueberry buckle, see how we did. Ready? Shall we taste it? Yeah. Ready? Mm. Is it yummy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it happy baking, everybody? Say happy for the July, happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day. See you at the next episode. See you at the next episode, everybody. <laughs>